So a gospel-centered pastor is in the first place uh, a pastor who has been pastored himself by the gospel-centered pastor, the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, on that uh, night that he appears to his disciples after his resurrection, he appears to a group of disciples that are vulnerable and are afraid. They've locked the door. They've hidden themselves. And Jesus becomes present to them there in the room. He becomes present to move them from a place of fear to a place of, of gladness, of thankfulness. And he gives them his peace. His peace are not just words that he speaks over these future leaders in the church. His peace is his own spirit that he pours out on them to equip them, to anoint them for the work of, uh, of pastoring. But what lies right at the heart of that meeting with his disciples is Christ in his own woundedness. He shows them his hands and his side. And it's this that causes them to be glad. Now Christ, in, in, a, in, a, in his unique way, in, a, in the way that only he can do it, paid for our sin with his wounds. For our uh, sins he has been pierced and by his wounds we are healed. And that is what he did uniquely, but he sets by that a pattern, an example for the way that pastors are to minister to those that are fearful and afraid. First, in the light of Christ's wounds, uh, we also uh, are very aware of our own wounds as pastors as we come into these difficult settings. And I must admit, at various times in my ministry, I've lost sight of uh, my woundedness. And that makes us uh, brash. It makes us uh, unfeeling. It can make us careless. But to fix our eyes on the Lord Jesus, on his pattern of pastoring, it's in the light of his wounds that he comes to pastor. Being very aware of our wounds will drive us into the hands of the great shepherd of the sheep, because that is what the word pastor means is to be a shepherd. And perhaps the scene of a, of, a, of a shepherd on a hillside, almost romantically looking after the peaceful sheep as they are grazing is what comes to mind. But as we've studied the scriptures during this course, we've discovered that actually to be a pastor is one that stands up to protect the sheep, that fights for the sheep, uh, that... Um, do as David would say, he fought of bears and, and lions as he protected his father's sheep. Uh, pastoring is, is not just protecting the sheep from outside enemies, but also from the enemies within us and with, within ourselves, our own propensity to, to hurt others and to hurt one another because we are moving and living not out of the finished work of Jesus Christ. We are not first resting in the joy that we have with the Father through the Son, in the power of the Holy Spirit, but we do it in our own strength. Brothers, that is, a, that is a painful mistake that we can make that can cause the church great harm uh, and has caused the church great harm. Let us return to the tender, gentle care of a pastor uh, that, uh, that knows what it means to be wounded, even to die on a cross. Uh, and then with his love, let us continue to minister to those that he loves, first being loved ourselves and then loving those that he's placed under our care. Thank you.